today I'm making a miniature jewelry box and some Halloween themed uh, jewelry for your dolls. Uh, as always, if you make this craft, please tag me on Instagram. I'd absolutely love to see it. And kids, do be sure and ask a parent for help before starting this craft. Okay guys. So for the jewelry box, I'm using packaging material. I glue two pieces together, cut out pieces for my frame, file as needed. I assemble the outer piece. Then I assemble the drawer, making sure that it will fit. And I cut out a piece for the front, making sure that will also line up. Then I cut out a piece for the top and wrap the top and front piece in paper while I paint the frame and the drawer. When dry, I glue my pieces, add a bead, and your jewelry box is good to go. And for the jewelry, I'm making the little chokers, exactly how I made the LPS collars, if you saw that video about a year ago. So just using craft foam, I cut out a strip, cut to size, I roll it up, and use the heat from my glue gun to carefully shape my foam. Then just tucking in the outer piece and doing it again. And it should keep its curl, although perhaps over time it might loosen up, but of course you can just apply more heat. Then I draw a bat on thin black craft foam. I make dents for the eyes, then glue tiny little beads. Then glue to my choker. I make a candy corn out of white craft foam, just cutting a triangle. And to soften the edges, I cut the tips, color with permanent marker, and glue. And you can also make super easy little earrings and attach with double-sided tape, or a little ghost. And to make the ring, I'm just using paper. I wrap it around a Q-tip. And not all Q-tips are the same circumference, so you might want to experiment. You probably want the narrowest one you can find. Allow it to dry and color with marker. And to make the eyeball, using hot glue. I give it plenty of time to dry. Trim as needed. Paint white. Allow that to dry, then add details of green, black, and red for the veins. And when it's dry, I glue to my ring. Pop it off and slide it on. And one more option for a necklace, just taking a fabric rose. Using my marker to color it a bit with a bit of black. And then just using one of those tiny little chains that um, you'll often see like on shoe packaging or if it has like a logo or something like that, they'll wind it with those. Anyways, they seem to be perfect for uh, Barbie. And guys, you are so totally good to go. Well guys, this was a lot of fun. I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks guys.